Okay, la uh, last example for this section, Benford's Law um, on accounting. So when the accounting firm AJL and Associates audits a company's financial records for fraud, they often use a test based on Benford's Law. Benford's Law states that the distribution of first digits in many real-life sources of data is not uniform. In fact, when there's no fraud, about 30.1% of the numbers in financial records begin with the digit 1. However, if the proportion of first digits that are 1 is significantly different from 0 .301 in a random sample of records, AJL and Associates does a much more thorough investigation of the company. Suppose that a random sample of 300 expenses from a company's financial records result in only 68 expenses that begin with the digit 1. Should AJL and Associates do a more thorough investigation of this company? Test at a alpha 5% significance level. So um, I will skip some things that were the same in the last example, but we do definitely need to state, so um, let me zoom out here, state, okay, so we have to define our what our proportion means, um, so let P equal the true proportion of expenses the true proportion of expenses that's, that begin with digit 1 of expenses that begin with uh, digit 1. Okay, there's, that's our, well, then we state, so H naught is that the proportion is equal to 0.301. And our alternative hypothesis is that, now here's where, this is hopefully you, you recognize this is a two-sided test, so it's not just greater than, less than, we want both. So we're going to say, and that'll change our values later, the, the proportion is not 0 0.301. So we have to test greater than, and it has to be, it could be greater than or less than. Um, okay, so that's state. Um, the plan part, I am only going to write, unless you want me to explain, I'm only going to write R and I. Uh, so we're on do. Okay, so the sample proportion is 68 out of 300. Yes, 68 out of 300. So that's that's 0.227. So we want to know how far away that is from 0 0.301, which which is stated in the null hypothesis. So the test statistic z and the formula for this is in your formula uh, card 2.27 minus. 0.301 over the sample standard deviation, which is the square root of p times 1 minus p over uh, sample size n, or negative 2.79. So that many standard deviations to the left. But since it's a two-sided test for our p value, we want two times the probability that z is less than, or you could say greater than, negative 2.79. The distribution is perfectly symmetric, so it doesn't really matter, but we need to double the, the answer because it's two-sided test. So um, you're, you would do on your calculator two times normal, normal CDF, um, negative infinity to negative 2.79 and that'll give you you can check um, 2 times 0 0.0026 or 0 0.0052 so there's quite a small chance a half a percent chance that we would get the result we did in our sample if H naught were true 
So we reject the null hypothesis. So, so conclude um, since since p value um, less than alpha, we reject um, h naught. And so um, there is convincing evidence that the proportion of expenses that have a first digit of one is not 0 0.301. So um, therefore, AJL should do more investigation of this company. Should do more investigating. Um, since there is convincing evidence evidence the the true proportion of expenses the proportion of expenses that have a first digit of one first digit of one is not point three oh one 